while of scratching in this windy weather. Finally managed to get a nice size bronze beam. Ah, uh, you had some prawns on, yeah? That's it. That's a nice bronzy we got. Lovely, lovely fish. Prawn and choco combo. Catch this beautiful little bronze beam. Nice bronzy. That's what it's all about. I'm actually happy now. I've got feet on the fish. I've got cleanse on the fish. It's only Duncan left. So yeah, I'm gonna keep throwing as well. Enjoying myself as well. Yeah. Okay, definitely uh, good fishing. First cast. As I got here, they were already at four or something, three. And I think by the time I had my bait in the water, they were already at five. Not bad size. And uh, guys, there's been a lot of them around. So fish responsibly, the divers and the spearers as well say they've seen massive shoals since uh, after lockdown. So there's a lot of these bronzies around. Lovely fish to catch. And uh, yeah, we must look after them, slow growers. You're allowed to, I think, per person, if you keep them. We put them in a pool so we can release them after we, uh, we've fished. And uh, if there's a nice one, you keep it for the pan, maybe. But uh, don't release them when you're fishing because they chase the whole shoal away. You can go and release them about 50 to 100 meters down the beach. But uh, just keep them in a pool here. The tide is pushing up. They'll swim out soon. guys you guys have been hearing me talk about the new apparel for quite some time now and yes this is the new apparel this is actually the master apparel at the moment but it can be open for public it's uh, all on you guys suggestions and what you guys think because the more information we get about what you guys want the better so yeah like i said it's all about you guys so let us know what you think of this new apparel it's a very comfortable comfortable uh, yeah Sorry guys, I said a big slack off here while I was talking. Very comfortable shirt. Uh, it feels very nice on you. Very Are you selling our shirts? Yeah, I actually am. I actually am. Yeah. Look at this man, good man. <laughs> hey, bring us in. Clever, clever little fish. That's a bigger one. Now. Like, like we said guys, there was prawns from uh, Adcan, the head on prawns are working really well. I didn't even need to put uh, chuck out anything yet, although I brought that. The prawns are working perfect on its own. Yeah, good pulls, good fish, as you guys can see. Lovely, lovely bronzy. Nice fat belly soup. So yeah, this is like what, the 6th or 7th one we already got uh, in this one hole. And yeah, they're feeding quite nicely. So, put it back in another rock pool. Don't want to spook the shoal away if you want to have some more fun. So let this guy, get this guy back. Catch a better one. This is a rock pool, we've got bronzes, we've got bronzes in there. We've got bronzes in there, that pool as well as here. We've got a baby five finger here. As you can see, it's a very beautiful fish, though. October, it's when you get those really nice three and a half, four kilo fish. This is about a two kilo. These spines on the fin, it's quite sharp, so they all. But I wanted to show you guys this belly. They are eating so healthy. 
they nice and fat. Okay guys, we've been having a nice morning here in Tolumi. For, you, for those of you who watched the previous show, you'll know quite a few bronze bream. The tide has turned. I've joined Kumaran here. Uh, he kind of dragged me out of bed this morning and I arrived late. But uh, yeah, we've got a muscle man crab here. I'm going to cut it in half, put a bit of crayfish on it, put it out and I'm also maybe going to fish an octi leg on another hook, a circle hook. Because there are some cob around as well. And see if we can get some other fish. So yeah. Stay tuned, let's see what we can get out of this water, the water is looking nice, there's still a bit of sand in the back, but I've got this feeling that within the next half an hour, we'll have some brush coming over, and maybe we can get a nice one on the hook. Okay, now just to show you guys, I've got a little brush trace here, uh, so I've got a power combi swivel, the power swivels from Kingfisher, and I've got a mustad little circle hook, this one I rigged to tie a, a bait onto that okay but you can always cut it off you do it like you do in carp fishing a hair rig and I put a little piece of wood on there so I can tie my bait starting on the hook all the way down and still have it running like that okay now that's just a skellum extra hook then for the brusher you have got proper 0 0.80 fluorocarbon and on my hooks new to 0 0.80 and the mustad hoodlum 5.0 much thinner sinker line, this I think is a 0.45, it's a bit thin, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll use it. Okay, I'm going to use a cone, I wouldn't normally use a cone. Well, let's see what size that is, hang on. Today I'm definitely using my old tournament. There's only two of them that uh, ever saw the light in South Africa. I'm just using my Saltus 5000 on there. Got a thicker leader line here, a 0.75. Yeah, there was a comment on the channel, why do I put the line on the rocks? Guys, please don't think we leave the line on the rocks, ever. You put it by your bag, and then when you pack up, you clean everything up. We're not gonna show you guys when we pack up all our stuff. My top hook, and we're hoping for something there. And that's it, guys. That's just muscle man. It's a very big muscle man, so I had to split it. While fishing here, nice rock pot washed out. This is a perfect, perfect bait for fishing for kalyun, as well as your your bronzes and your, your cracker also eat them as well. But kalyun's favorite bait is a uh, the rock bed. This is a bit too fresh. Normally you must smell, it must turn into a, a pungent, pungent smell. And then it works, it works best. And I'm going to use this anyway, use it fresh. So I'm going to show you guys how I actually use it. I'm going to cut a piece here, fix it. All you do is take your finger, there's a membrane inside there. I don't want a very big piece. That's a piece I want to use. Alright. So basically what I do is take the rock bed. take my hook, I split it first in half and I fold it inside out. So like I said this is still very very fresh. I just turn it inside out. The guys down in the cape fish it a bit different. Like I said here we we don't get so much of kalium but we do get them now and again. Features. And that's the bait all done. Nice small bait. Turn inside out. All the juices exposed. And this is gonna get you a fish. 
like I said, best success when it's nice and old and it's got a pungent smell where your wife doesn't want you to turn back off, then you know that bit is good to use. So we're actually fishing a, a incoming tide. So we we're hoping that we can get a kaka here. We've got some muscle man crabs here, we've got some ghost crabs. Andre is actually getting a pull here. He's got yeah, he's getting a nice pull. Andre's getting a nice pull. Size. Let's get the camera on that side, you can see it. Some good size bronzies coming. And that's on a circle loop, guys. Just with a chocker, piece of chocker on. Dense, nice size. Very good size. There we go. Okay, yeah, guys, we just bring a big chocker blob here. Blobbing it properly. Like I said, today we're fishing for the cracker. I'm also going to try for the bronzies too. Andre got that very nice one. So with a blob, anything takes it. So I'm actually fishing for whatever's there at the moment before I put on my muscle bag. Yes, once through. And then I'm flapping the blob over. So we got a cotton out here. There's no cotton towards the hook, just towards the center and the back. I want it nice and fluffed in the water, straight pole blob. Nothing fancy about this bait guys, it's a simple, simple bait. That's your chocker blob there. So when this hits the water, it's going to fluff out nicely and you get a pull. So like I said, anything will take this here. Guys, hi nice bronzy here again. Bronzies are wild. So it's nice. We've been fishing, we're getting small bites here and there. And they got a nice bronzy. So I decided to put a chocolate blob. It wasn't long. I managed to get this one here. We've got a nice hook set up here as well. Put the hook back. As you guys can see, beautiful, beautiful fish. Very nice bronzy. Let's put him in a rock pool. Uh, keep fishing, keep trying for the brusher. Okay, after Kamaran dragged me out of the bed, it turned out to be quite a productive morning. The wind is bumping, it's not pleasant, but the water is nice. And you can continue now taking fish out of this hole probably the whole day. The water started pushing. So, nice morning. Yeah, it was a very nice morning, very eventful day. We're glad we managed to get the fans on some fish as well. So yeah, it was worth a trip all the way from Coxton. And yeah, it was good fishing today. Uh, water's still perfect, like Andre said. The locals are still trying, so we're gonna head back. Maybe tomorrow, uh, continue trying for a cracker. We need to get the cracker. Yeah, I got stuck now and I broke off on the crack on my cracker bait, the brusher. But that's okay, yeah, we that's had okay. good fun. We had really good fun today. It was nice and exciting after a while. Yeah, there's a lot of fish guys, so if you guys want to come down and fish for bronzies, yeah, I'm telling me, excellent spot, safe parking there as well, so, and it's a good family spot as well. <laughs>